Hello, it's Michelle from Clean Away. We're working with Central Coast Council to educate residents on what we can recycle in our yellow littered bin. Today we're going to look at plastics and which of those plastic items you have at home can we recycle? When it comes to recycling plastics, the most important thing to remember is that if it's a rigid plastic bottle or container and you used it in the kitchen, bathroom or laundry, then we can recycle it in your yellow lid bin. This includes your bottles such as milk bottles, drink bottles, juice bottles and sauce bottles. And we can accept your tubs that have had uh, yogurt in them or ice cream or sour cream tubs. We can accept the punnets that your fruit comes in or your cherry tomatoes as well. You can put in your takeaway food containers and you can also recycle your washing up liquid bottles. From the bathroom, we can accept your shampoo and conditioner bottles, your body wash bottles and also your toilet cleaning bottles. You can put the bottles that your hand soap comes in as well into your yellow littered bin. And from the laundry, things like laundry liquid bottles, laundry powder containers and also all of your spray um, nozzle bottles as well. They can all go into your yellow littered bin. When it comes to recycling plastics, our top tips are make sure you don't put your plastic bottles and containers in a plastic bag. They need to go into the yellow lid bin loosely, so no plastic bags are ever allowed. Secondly, you need to make sure that your bottles and containers and tubs are empty and have no product left in them. So if it's a liquid item, you can just tip it out. If it's something more solid, you might need to scrape it out with a, with a spoon or even give it a quick wash in your sink with some water to make sure there's no food product left in there. We need to make sure those items are dry before they go into the yellow bin as well. If your item has a lid on it and it's a removable lid, take that one off, but we can recycle the lid as well so you can pop it in separately. And with your plastic items, we would like you to try and keep them whole. So don't squash them and flatten them. If they're left whole in a 3D shape in the yellow bin, it makes it much easier for us to be able to sort that recycling. There are some plastics that we can't recycle in the yellow littered bin, and these might cause contamination to our recycling. There are a few reasons why we can't recycle different types of plastics. It might be because we can't sort that type of plastic at our facility. There may not be a market to recycle that plastic, or it might be really hard to get that plastic clean enough for recycling. So we've got some examples here today to look at. But the most important thing to always remember with plastics is that if it's a bottle or a container from the kitchen, bathroom or laundry, it can be recycled. The one item that might be a bit tricky with that rule is our meat trays. So we can't recycle any meat trays in our yellow bins on the central coast. And there's a few reasons why. Some of the meat trays are actually black and we struggle to recycle any black plastic within the yellow bin service. That's due to the dyes used to make it black and it's very hard for the machinery to pick up on the black plastic. The second reason that we struggle with meat trays is a lot of them are made from polystyrene or styrofoam, which again, we can't recycle in this service. And finally, the risk of blood contamination from the products that have been kept in the meat trays to our paper and cardboard, if not cleaned properly, is another reason why we don't want any meat trays going into our yellow lid bins. So all of your meat trays that you use at home do need to go into your red bin for disposal. Some other items that we don't want going into your yellow bin made from plastic that are a rigid plastic as well are things like coat hangers, cooking utensils and even old toys that you have. So remember if the toys are of still good use you can donate them but anything else that's not of good use would need to go into your red lid bin because they're not a bottle or a container from the kitchen, bathroom or laundry. To add to that, we can't do disposable cutlery or straws. So these items are just too small and flat and they would get mixed in with our paper and cardboard if we were trying to recycle them in our facility. So again, it needs to be bottles or containers from the kitchen, bathroom or laundry. So following with that message, we come to our pot plants. So it's not a bottle or a container from the kitchen, bathroom or laundry. You might find a recycling sign on it, but we still can't accept it within the service. It's also due to a lot of the containers being black, uh, but they do also have uh, lots of different products in them that is hard to clean out to ensure we don't get contamination within our system. 
a very topical one at the moment. We've got our disposable gloves. So again, anything like this needs to go into your red littered bin. And then finally, our soft plastics. So all of our plastic wrappers and bags. So again, these might contain recycling symbols, but they cannot go into your yellow bin. We can only recycle the bottles and containers. They hold a shape and make it easy for us to sort the recycling. If we put these types of items in our yellow bin, they act just like a piece of paper when we're sorting the recycling and become contaminated and mixed in with that product. So all of your soft plastic packets that your chips come in, your, your bread and your pasta, any of your chocolate wrappers, bubble wrap, um, any of your pouches, which is a quite a new product now, but you can get yogurt pouches and sauce pouches. None of these can go into your yellow bin. And as I mentioned, they often will have a symbol on them. So this plastic bag is a great example of a product that has a recycling sign on it, but it does not mean that it can go in your yellow bin for recycling. What it does mean is that you can collect all of your soft plastics together and collect them together in a bag and take it back to your local supermarket where they will recycle all of your soft plastics. So if you go back to your local Coles or Woolworths and find the red cycle bin, which is often near the registers, and pop all of these soft plastic items in there, then they can get that recycled through that service. They can never be recycled in your yellow littered bin though. So remember, only plastic bottles and containers from the kitchen, bathroom or laundry. No other types of plastics in your yellow littered bin. It's really important that we all continue to recycle our bottles and containers in our yellow lid bin. When we recycle our plastic items, they're turned into new bottles, containers, even into carpet, jumpers and sometimes back into wheelie bins. So it's really important that we keep recycling these items. Plastic can cause havoc in our environment if disposed of incorrectly, especially when it's littered. And it can take centuries to break down in a landfill environment. By recycling these items, we're conserving our landfill space, protecting our environment and creating more jobs. If you'd like to find out more on what you can recycle in your yellow bin, please visit our website, which is onecoast.com.au or you can follow us on Facebook by searching for One Coast on Facebook. Please make sure that you keep educating yourself and learning about waste management and recycling because together we can make a sustainable future possible.